Built to host 1,200 prisoners, the prison at Gitarama in Rwanda then hosted 8,000 prisoners, most if not all being the partakers of the genocide experienced in the country. All they wanted was a fair trial. My head, headmaster, was a Tutsi tribesman, and unlucky he was killed during the, the events. And uh, his wife is now claiming that uh, we, Hutu professors, teachers who were there, we are the one who have planned uh, to make his husband be killed. And we have been arrested for that. We haven't killed him, he has been killed by soldiers. It is a known case. A very packed place with only one room with at least fresh air. The room set aside for young prisoners, those under the age of 16. Some were even as young as 10. Judging them will be the hardest part. Every one of them. The prisoners had been accused by someone of taking some part in the genocide. I would say accusation was all too easy in that it took a lot of people for the genocide to be successful. First, with the possibility of crowding more prisoners in the prison, the government stopped arresting more lawbreakers. The big question, however, was how were they to get justice? How were all those people going to get tried? while the buildings and courtrooms around the country had been destroyed in one way or another, with the only functional court then handling civil cases. Anyway, stay tuned to know more about what happened to the prisoners. I am Nokla Murunga, Africa Rebirth.